Good morning and happy first Sunday in October. This is my favorite time of year. You know the burrs, October, November, December. I'm getting a very, very slow start to this morning. Um, Stayed up a little late last night and I have yoga to do. I usually reserve, uh, this tag is bothering me. I can't believe my tag is out, but whatever. I usually reserve um, Sundays for yoga. I do, I pretty go pretty hard in the paint during the week and do all my weightlifting. Like I did an arms class. My arms are still killing me. So I should have probably did a different class yesterday, but um, I got to get Gigi's water ready. She's out on her walk. And after that, I'm going to prepare myself for this 30 minute R&B yoga class. I've actually taken this class before and I really enjoyed the playlist. So that is why I'm going to head in and take it again. I was going to take the 45 minute class live on Peloton app, but um, I just decided to take this class again because I enjoyed it so much. Y'all, I'm so happy that you counted yourself in for R and B Yoga Flow. Let's get this party started. Easy pose, Sukhasana. Again, you can scoot to the edge of your blanket. You can cross right at the ankles. And now open your eyes. Let's warm it up with some body rolls. You just choose the direction you move, all right? Hands are anchored. You inhale, open your heart. Exhale, round the spine. Breathe. Uh-huh. Listen. Did y'all know that I have an entire Breathe. Inhale. Reverse it now. Breathe. Car, roll it down. Pivot on the back toes. Step back plank. Exhale. Eight point pose or chaturanga. Inhale. Cobra or up dog. Here we go. Down dog. Breathe. Rise up high mountain. Uh huh. Exhale. Swan dive down. Inhale. Half lift. Exhale. We bow. Big step back. Right foot. Runners lunge. I can stay in here or take that left leg up. Meet me a warrior to Carl it up. Hey, peaceful warrior. Extend inside the ankle. Trikonasana. Reverse that triangle. Carl it down. Pivot on the back toes. Step back plank. Exhale. A point pose or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing. Easy pose. to your knees, yogis. If at any time you need support, underneath I'm sure it will be a supine spinal twist. I want you to feel in your body right now, upright. How does your spine feel? Inhale. And again, I hope you're singing this love song to your body right now, exactly how it's arriving to you. Inhale, reach your arms back to center. Over to the other we're going to switch sides, left knee, draw it in, right leg, extend it down, get me into the descending colon on this side, breathe. How do you feel? How does it feel to pour love into your body for 30 minutes through the practice of yoga and remember exactly who you are? Draw both knees into your chest, off and out to the bundle pose, getting into the transverse colon. And also another opportunity to give your body a hug. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and bring the soles of the feet onto the earth. All right, grab your blanket. I loved this Maxwell album so much. Embryo, so let's go ahead and snuggle ourselves into a nice cocoon for the rebirth of who we are after our practice. If you're taking Shavasana, bring your arms beside you, palms facing up, taking a deep inhale. And exhale, Shavasana. Okay, now that that's done, it is definitely time for some coffee, some protein, some collagen, and then I've been taking the Nutrafol supplements for my hair, skin, and nails as well. So it's coffee time. And then also I got this maple streusel bread from Trader Joe's. It comes out literally every year. It's seasonal. 
hence every year, but um, I'm going to grab a piece of that, have that with my coffee, and then I'm going to do my devotional Bible study. So I told you in a previous video that I started this 52 weeks of the Bible earlier this week, and I can't believe that I I have not missed one week, and I have made it to week 41. I'm, I have the shortest attention span ever. So, <laughs> I mean, for me to make it without skipping a beat, I'm super proud of myself. Just putting positivity and pos positive affirmations into my life um, daily. Obviously, I'm not perfect, but I'm, I'm getting better. I'm, I'm getting better. And um, I'm just looking forward to this next chapter in my life. But if you're wondering what protein I have, it's the Ghost Cinnabon protein. That's my favorite pro protein. So if I don't feel like making a protein shake, I just take some of it and put it in my coffee um, in the mornings or I'll make the shake. And I also have the pre, what is it? The pre, um, the pre-made shake by Premier. It's the pumpkin spice. And I've been enjoying that a lot lately too. So all I'm having for breakfast this morning is coffee and a piece of this streusel bread. And streusel bread is 130 calories. I could eat two of them, but I'm only eating one. Don't have much of an appetite. And then my oat um, creamer. Um, I think it's the brown sugar. Yeah, the brown sugar one. I have the brown sugar one from Trader Joe's, and I also have the Cinnabon one. But um, the Cinnabon one's not open, so we're just going to mix the brown sugar one with that and have my coffee and have my bread. And then we're going to go in and do my Sunday devotional and just, you know, just get... I don't know, get ready for the rest of the day. Like, I have nothing planned. Nothing planned. So I'm probably going to take a nap and then watch my lottery dream home. Um, I think my husband said it's... Someone won $35 million in Texas, so I know that's going to be a great episode. So this is my book. You guys, I'm super proud of myself for getting to um, week... 40 on here looking forward to week 41 and yeah you just read after that you read all these verses during the week and I have a short attention span like I said so I download the bible app I listen to it the verses on the way to work in the morning before I put on any music and then on Sunday there's a recap of everything that you read over the week and then you just answer a few questions and there's like a positive affirmation at the end of of the chapter and that's pretty much it so right now it's I have three questions to answer kind of reflecting on my week and after I reflect on my week I read the little verse um, that they have for me to go into the next week just something to to keep me positive and then starting Monday, I'm in the book of Ezekiel right now. So starting Monday, um, we're resuming in Ezekiel. So I'll, I'll read my verses or actually listen to the app on the way to work. And that's pretty much it. But I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I don't know. I don't want to say boring, but this is, this is what I usually do on Sundays. I just wanted to share it with you. And... I hope you have a wonderful week as well. All right, your girl's going to go. I've got to finish this and head to my lottery dream home. You guys have a blessed, blessed, blessed week. All right, peace.